So Steve, two strikers through the door, how does it feel to get these done? Yeah, really good, good. Um, pleased to get Kurt done early, um, but obviously the, these two lads have took a little bit of time. Um, obviously, uh, Clayton was still playing a long time into our sort of layoff. So we, we started talking a couple of weeks ago and, uh, and the same with Jace. We obviously, you know, we, we saw a lot more than yourselves um, of Jason. Um, we, we assessed him every day in training for the best part of three months. Um, he's a really, really good finisher. Um, a different type of player. I think we've got three different strikers now. Um, he's somebody that is a box player, can score great goals, but he's, he's an out and out finisher. Um, there are chances that have gone begging uh, over the past probably couple of seasons. Um, you know, I'd bet, I'd bet, bet money on Jason uh, being able to turn a lot of them away. And obviously, you've got Kurt who can do a bit of both, a bit of a box player, but also likes to take the ball um, in little pockets, got a good feet, um, good skill. and. And then you've got Clayton, who, who, who again, his experience, uh, his desire after talking to him to want to succeed still um, was brilliant to hear. So, and he's played quite a lot as a number ten um, for Bradford. Uh, kept a good eye on him at the end of last season. A lot of their better performances when they turned the corner a little bit. Um, Clayton was involved, and obviously he's got experience as an out and out target man. As you can see when you, you interviewed him earlier, and probably seen the pictures, he's a he's a very strong boy. Um, he's a very fit boy. He's looked after himself brilliantly. You know, nowadays you can you can play till players play in the Premier League to 40. Um, so um, you know his, his age is absolutely not an issue. The amount of games he's played tells you that. I think he's played something like 500, over 500 games since he was at York last, and banged in nearly 200 goals in national caps. So I, I think it's a I think it's a really really good signing. But the main thing about um, Clayton is the fact that when we sat down and chatted, he wanted to. He wanted to get promoted. He, he felt like he, he felt like he wanted to do it at this club. Um, to come at a good time for him, come at a good time for us. So, um, uh, and he's probably at the age after chatting to him where he's probably looking at going into the next level of his football development, coaching maybe, and he'd be good for us in that respect as well. Um, teach the younger lads a lot and take the odd session. So it's, it'll work out really well, I think. Yeah, absolutely. And obviously, you've got two proven goal scorers here, third with, with Kurt as well. Um, no, it's looking really promising for the new season with these new signings, isn't it? It is. I mean, we, we, as I say, we kept the players that we, we really wanted to keep. We lost a couple of players uh, because of different situations. Um, and we feel like we've got the base of a really strong team now. You know, there'll be probably three or four more to add to it. There may even be another forward player. Um, but we, we're in no rush now. There's, there's two or three on the, on the radar, but we're in no rush now. We've got three over the line. We're going to get a chance to have a look at a, a few young lads pre-season that have been released from clubs. Players like we got Josh King through the similar sort of uh, situation, and Ollie Dyson, who who again will be a big player for us. So yeah, I'm I'm, I'm you know I'm a lot happier uh, coming out of this this week uh, and a lot more sort of settled as to what we want to do. Yeah, and in terms of signing these players, was there much competition to get these guys over the line? Yeah, I mean, there's a lot of like. There's always competition for goal scorers. There's a lot of there's a lot of clubs early on. Um, we're trying to get Jason. A lot of clubs in our league. A lot of clubs in the league below, um, because he is a goal scorer and, and they're at a premium. So, but I think he enjoyed being here. He certainly enjoyed the environment. Um, I don't think anybody can judge any of us. <laughs> Hopefully not on the one game that we did play here. Uh, but as I say, we've we've had three months to judge him, which other obviously other people haven't had. The, the, the chance to do that and you know, we're convinced he'll score goals. Yeah and obviously with Clayton I think you worked him at Birmingham did you? Worked with him when he was uh, when he was at Birmingham with uh, with Lee. Um, out and out sort of powerful robust goal scorer then you know played on the shoulder um, give defenders a nightmare but it doesn't look any different after seeing him today so you know I'm, I'm still convinced that he can hopefully terrorise defenders in this league as well. Just any more teasers for new signings coming? Uh, there's, there's probably going to be. We're hoping, we're hoping to get um, Michael Woods over the line next week. We're hoping to get uh, another, uh, another young goalkeeper over the line. We're looking at two or three other options. But as I say, we've got the crux of a, a really strong team now. Um, we'll, we'll, we'll probably look to get the first week of pre-season out of the way before we make decisions on other players that have came in, and probably two or three weeks into pre-season before we make decisions on the lads we've got back in from last season so but as I say we've got 
what we've got now. We've got 17, 18 players already, um, and it's not even July yet, so I, I'm really happy. Obviously, with these players signing, new season coming, it's all getting quite exciting, isn't it? Absolutely, yeah. You know, it, it's um, it's been a long, it's been a long old <laughs> yeah. You know, we've, we've not been in since March. I've not seen some of my actual players. You know, the, the Newtses and the Brownies and the Scotty Barrows since uh, since the file game. So, just looking forward to getting back. Looking forward to seeing the lads again, getting them together. You know, the the whole the whole of the squad last season never really got a chance to to get to know each other. You know, it was it was very stop start. There were so many restrictions in place. Uh, I'm looking forward to the players getting to know each other a little bit better. You know, me be able to uh, uh, be able to spend a bit more time together in a different environment. So I think that's very important, especially when you change as many players as we did last summer. So as I say, um, fingers crossed, nothing nothing backward step is taken from uh, from from the COVID side of things, and we can crack on. I'm really looking forward to it.